Oh, hi, Jamie. Jamie. I can see you. I can hear you. Technical difficulties. As a preface, I want to say that, you know, we are fortunate that we've been able to operate somewhat similarly to how we were before the COVID-19 restrictions, um, which is, of course, thanks to our ongoing customer support, which has been amazing. Um, But then also you, Jamie, like you are our one man team right now that's keeping everything moving and and orders out the door. So first and foremost, thank you. (laughs) I hold down the fort and it's kind of nice to have a fort to hold down and it's things have been going really well. It's a little strange working all by my lonesome. Um, but you know, it gives a little introspection into the day and what's going on in the world, which can be, yeah, have it's good and in bad points, but, yeah. uh, it's kind of, it's nice to, you know, there's, you know, the handful of people that are still going about their life in as normal of a way as possible. You know, you have all the delivery, the FedEx and the UPS and the mail people and, you know, in just, it's, there's just still this like skeleton crew, like keeping life moving in, in the town. And yeah. um, it's kind of cool to be a part of that for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. As weird as it is. <laughs> a lot, a lot quieter, but. Yeah. I mean, that's just yeah. it. Like you, you don't have the pedestrian traffic walking by constantly and it's uh, yeah. I mean, it's a little different. That is for sure. Yeah. And I mean, it is kind of our slower time of the year, mm-hmm. but I mean, how, what's your day-to-day as far as like orders and, and getting everything together? Well, we've really been pretty busy, especially the last two, three weeks here. I mean, it's shockingly so with the way everything's going, but you know, the timing we got some restock in and, and new shipments arriving and a lot of them seem to hit at the same time. And we had a lot of back orders to get out um, from, from products that had been ordered before. And, uh, so it's been actually pretty busy and we're trying to plot a little reorganization. We've gotten some new styles and colors in and we've got to find a home for them. So that's been part of it as well. And, uh, yeah, working on, you know, new ideas for the coming year and mm-hmm. keeping busy. It's true, which is, I'm, I'm so thankful for, you know, so many people are, you know, kind of a little stir crazy right now. I mean, even like you working at home, I mean, I'm sure <laughs> that's got to get a little nutty after a while and, oh, and so yeah. many people that, aren't even don't even have the option of a job right now so it's like yeah i'm feeling really fortunate for it all and and the support that yeah everyone has been showing us and keeping things going yeah i definitely feel that gratitude too and i mean like being such a small team it's like we we do get to keep going which is amazing but Mm. like being such a small team it almost like hurts even more like having to work remotely (laughs) yeah it does well i mean that's one of the things you know it's like i don't know i mean I'm another thing I'm very fortunate about is I'm very fond of all my coworkers, which I know is an anomaly with a lot of people, but it's like, I, uh, people say, I tell people I'm working all about myself. Like, Oh, that must be great. You know, you got, you know, I'm like, well, I really like my coworkers. <laughs> so I really got <laughs> yeah. so, so that's kind of been strange. Cause yeah, I mean, it's, we have our, you know, our weekly meetings like this and, you know, we chat over the, uh, the slack, but it's, uh, yeah, I really miss our, our dynamic that, is usually going on here and you know, we have a lot of fun together so yeah it's it, i mean i don't know if our customers do you know this but normally when we function you are still the shipping team which is just one person um and unless you need some help you know one of us will will step in and, and help oh, yeah. but, um I often have to enlist the entire crew for the holiday season yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my turn my turn yeah. um but as far as that, you know, it's, it's, it may be business as usual, but you know, we wanted to point you out as, as the main, oh, thank you. the main guy that's keeping it all afloat. Um, so as far as, you know, getting personal, getting to know you a bit more. Um, so, I mean, we kind of talked about how you're holding up in the office, but how are you holding up otherwise as far as like hobbies and things like that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm a great outdoors person, so I get out in my hikes and, Thankfully, nature is still open for the most part. I think the beach yeah. is maybe coming back soon, which I'll be very, very thankful for. I hope. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, you know, spend a lot of time outdoors. It's luckily the time for yard work and 
Mm-hmm. And I do in the yoga, I do practice yoga, and we've actually transformed the uh, shop here on the weekends into oh, yeah, right a little behind you, right? impromptu, yes, a little impromptu yoga studio that we've been broadcasting out into the world every, uh, every Sunday. So that's been a nice little added piece. It's like, it's like the one piece of normalcy in the world for me right now of, of having something that's, you know, outside of work and somewhat normally scheduled and yeah, mm-hmm. a little, a little escape from all the crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's so like, I'm jealous. I need to, <laughs> it's like our I'm office so- space is being used for something so cool. We get to do some yoga, right? Yeah. customers usually hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to expand that as things get better and uh we can all be practicing together instead of okay. remotely and so it's it lana's running it what's her how, how can we find oh that? lana well lana's um a local um yoga teacher and she's actually taught internationally she's uh taught a long time in iceland and uh the netherlands and she's had a studio in New York and down in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, but she's been up in the area here for a couple of years. She started her own project, uh, Indie Yoga, and I can be found she has an internet subscription service where she's got oh, well over a dozen, and they're being added to constantly, a dozen classes um, that you can take varying uh, lengths of time and, and different, slightly different uh, uh, sequences. And uh, just beautifully shot, and uh, there's custom soundscapes going with each of them. Oh, it's, it's great. It's great. Wow. So we've been kind of working, um, just doing like a live live action class every week to kind of supplement because it, it's it's fantastic. I mean, there's been between thirty and forty people on the on the Zoom class every oh. weekend, and from all over the world. I mean, uh, yeah, all over Europe. There are people from all over the states, and you know, a good handful from the area here. So it's it's really been a really nice community building um, project for sure. And everyone just seems so thrilled and grateful to have that little moment of connection in their week. And so it started out as a one time thing. Um, we've been having her. She has a friend down in Atlanta who's a DJ. So he's mixing uh, music live as we're teaching the class. And so everyone who's observing the class, you got to come check it out. Um, <laughs> every, everyone who's, who's participating in the class is getting this um, custom live DJ sound getting mixed into their practice. So it's kind of a really cool experience. And it was, it was a one-off thing that we started to do uh, mm-hmm. kind of just for fun. And we were all going crazy with being kept inside. And mm-hmm. the, you know, the response was so enthusiastic that um this is we're going to be doing it again this weekend and we already booked the next one so this is going to be the fourth or fifth one so it's become a weekly thing instead of just this one-off uh experiment so it's been a lot of fun well soon you won't need us back in the office it's just going to be a, <laughs> a yoga <laughs> studio, duck feet studio. You'll, still, you'll definitely have to come back to the office well, we all, yeah we're well, <laughs> going to do that that's so awesome um yeah so i mean what would you say you're most looking forward to as things kind of relax or as the summer comes on, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, but yeah. You- oh, live music. I would say that's uh, a lot of what I'm missing the most right now is and my friends, obviously, you know, um, yeah. and <laughs> be able to congregate and have a good time and yeah. not be so worried about what's to come. Yeah. But live music, live music. And I mean, live yoga too. I mean, I'm kind of getting a little spoiled because I have my little somewhat, you know, little class, but yep it'll be nice to have our community being able to, to interact a little more personally than we are right now. That's kind of getting a little tough, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm missing community the most as well right now and being there with that garage door open. Yeah. Like- <laughs> yeah. That's not the terrible thing. I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah I, you know, I come to work all by myself, but I do have the big door open and I get to turn the music up maybe a little too loud. And so it's not a bad day, not a bad day at all. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's good to see your face. Yeah, yours too. (laughs) Um, Thank you. Thank you for keeping everything going and putting yourself out there every day, going in every day, except for Uh, weekends, you know. (laughs) I got Um, tomorrow Friday off, though. Nice. Yeah. (laughs) Memorial Day's this weekend, so. I know. It came so soon. All right. Well, stay safe and wipe down that table. Oh yeah, um, we're <laughs> everything because Todd is going to be shipping tomorrow. Because Good. Okay. I, I'm, I got the days off, like I said, and Good. your packages will still be going out. Um, yeah. It's not by me. 
<laughs> oh, well-deserved vacation. Yeah, yeah, a little, a little one would be nice. It'd be nice. All right, bye, Jamie. Bye. See you later, Brittany.